Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Corpus Manager of AntCong to load the demo corpus that comes with AntCong. I'll also show you how you can load Corpus from the AntCong online Corpus repository. I'll also show you how you can load files from your own computer into AntCong and create a Corpus for yourself. And then finally, I'll show you how you can load in a list of words uh, into AntCong and create a corpus from that, which you can then use to analyze later. Okay, so let's get started. So in a previous video, I showed you how you can uh, create a corpus from your own files using the open files as quick corpus uh, option. But here I want to introduce the uh, corpus manager and show you how you can load in Corpora in various different ways. So let's go here to file open Corpus Manager, and here um, a new window will open. I'll maximize that here. And uh, you can see here that we have options for different Corpus sources, uh, a Corpus database, we have raw files, or a word list. And the default is a Corpus database. So this is a pre-built Corpus ready to be used, uh, not raw files. Uh, if you look at below here, we can see that there are some available corpora when you first install Ancong. Okay, let me expand that a little. So um, there's default corpora and also user corpora. These are the corpora that you create. Uh, and at the moment, you can see that the uh, um, in the default corpora list, there is a demo corpus here, and it's signaled that to be ready where, with this green icon. And if I double click on the demo corpus, like this, we can see exactly what that corpus is on the right here. And we can see it's um, the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland book. And there's some information about the, uh, the size of the corpus and the language and some license information, and so on. Uh, if you want to choose a corpus, uh, you can double click it as I just showed you, or you can select the name and click choose. You'll also notice that there's also a, a corpus under the user list as well. Now this is um, a temporary corpus that is created whenever you use that um, create cor uh, quick corpus option that I explained in the opening tutorial video. So let's look at that one now. So if I click the name temp db and click choose or double click we can see that uh, corpus and you can see that this corpus has got a name temp temporary and it's got 80 files and 161,469 words and this is exactly the corpus that i created earlier in the first tutorial video based on the amio6 learner corpus subcorpus data let's look now briefly at the uh, let's look at how to use one of these corpora. So I'll go back to the demo corpus and double click it or click choose. And then we need to return to the main window at the bottom right here to actually analyze that data. So you can see here, this is just a single file and I can um, I go to my quick tool and I can search for the word, for example, Alice. And we can see all the examples of Alice in this book. So that's how you would um, load in the demo corpus. And similarly, we can go to the corpus manager and uh, select the, te uh, the, the uh, temporary corpus created in the first video, choose that, or double click it, return to the main window. And now you can see again, we're back to where we were before with 80 files, 161,000 words. And this is the Amio6 learner corpus. And in the previous video, I searched for process, and you can see process is showing here. Let's sort that to the right. And we get back to where we started. Now, Ancong also offers you a way to load Copper from the Ancong online Corpus repository. At the moment, um, there are a few corpora there, and I hope to be adding more and more corpora to that online corpus repository uh, as Ancong D2 
develops further. So let's look at how to load an online corpus repository corpus uh, into Ankong. So to do this, uh, we need to go to, let's just first close the, uh, the, all the tools and files. Okay. So to load in an online corpus uh, from the repository, I, I will go to Opus, Open Corpus Manager, and I'll stay in the Corpus database option here. And if you look here, we can see various corpora that are at the moment unchecked. Okay, and um, I can look here at the, um, and these are all from the online Corpus repository. So I can uh, um, expand this list uh, within Ambio 6, and I can see various corpora that are all available for download. Um, you can see here available, and here's the status, uh, sorry, the size here of the different corpora. So one corpus that is um, available is the um, Amio 6 J learned corpus, which we were um, using earlier. So if I wanted to, if I didn't have the original files and I wanted to uh, use this corpus, so I would just click here and um, signal that I want to download this corpus from the online corpus repository. And then I need to connect online at the bottom by checking on connect online and then click update. So if I do that, we see here the new corpus will now be downloaded from the internet. Are you sure? So let's say yes. And it will um, go to the internet, download this corpus, and uh, then we can use it. So let's wait for a moment. And now the corpus library has been updated. So if I click now OK, you can see that the corpus library is refreshed. We have an orange mark now next to the Amio 6 list, indicating that some of the sub corpora uh, have been installed. And you can see here a small indicator, now just green, showing that it is ready to be used. So if I want to use this corpus now, um, I can double click on the corpus. We can have this information ready and I can return to the main window and we have that corpus ready to be used. So you can see that you don't have to have the raw files for this corpus to use it. You just need to go to the um, corpus manager, go to the available online corpora and select the one that you would like. Now you can also delete um, corpora. Um, so if I select the, if I click on the blue indicator, you can see it's um, now turned into green, saying it's ready but not loaded. If I click it again, it will turn into this red box. And now if I update Ankong, this corpus will be deleted. And you can see here the status is to be delete, to be deleted. But I don't want to do that now. I want to I want to use this corpus, so I'll I'll click that again and turn it back into green. So we have these different um, statuses of the corpora. They could be active, which is signaled by blue. They could be just ready, which is green, or they could be marked for deletion, which is red. And if there is, if the corpus hasn't been loaded, it will just appear as this white box here. So let's now create a corpus using the corpus manager um, based on our on files within our own computer, some of our own files. Now, the, adv the advantage of using the Corpus Manager to do this is that those that corpus that you build will um, be permanently stored in the Corpus Manager. You can give the corpus a name, and you can also then use it and access it very quickly and easily later. So let's look at how to do that now. So if I want to create a corpus from my own raw files, I need to click on the raw files option in the corpus manager. And now you can see some new settings. Uh, and at the moment, because we haven't loaded any files, we have this fairly blank screen. So let's first give the name to our corpus. I'm going to call it uh, my demo corpus. 
and I need to now give the uh, the Corpus Manager some files to process. Now, let's add um, files as we did before. So I'm going to add the 80 learn, uh, learned cor subcorpus files from the Amio 6 corpus. Open that. And you can see now that it, within this uh, list we have 80 files. Uh, and below that, I can also now check some different settings, um, which I won't explain here. Um, I'll, I'll give some more information about this in an, an, in an advanced tutorial session. But we can choose an indexer for how to process these files. You can choose the encoding, choose a token definition, so we can decide how words are defined within this corpus. And we can also choose this row processor option so that each row of data can be treated as a different file. There's also some advanced options for creating metadata tables and, and creating lemma lists and so on. But for this um, tutorial, I'm just going to now click Create. And you can see the uh, ANCON goes through and processes these files and the corpus has been created. And I can click OK there. Now, where is this data? Um, well, if I go back to the corpus database, I can see that my co demo corpus is now um, selected as the target corpus and it is ready to be used. Uh, and if I close Ancong and reopen it, you can still find my corpus, my demo corpus there until you decide to delete it. Now, if you want to delete it, as we had with the with the online corpus repository files, we just need to select the um, green indicator, select it again to mark it as, as for deletion, and then update the Corpus Manager. But I won't do that now, because um, we might want to be using it soon. So let's select, choose, and then go back to the main window. And again, we're back now with our data, but now it has a name, My Demo Corpus, and we can use that for language analysis. I should mention one thing about um, you creating uh, your own corpus. In the raw files option, we can drag and drop files into here. These could be text files or PDF files or uh, Word files or HTML files, SRT files. Many different file formats can be used. They can be mixed as well. And if we drag and drop these in here, uh, we can then uh, process them and then use them as a new corpus. So now let's go to the third option in the Corpus Manager and load in a, a simple word list and create a corpus from that that we can then use later. So let's go back to the Corpus Manager one final time. Uh, and here I'm going to choose the uh, word list option here. And here you can see that there's Again, various different options. So I'm going to first name my word list uh, demo corpus like this, my word list demo corpus. And here you can see that I can load a simple word list into Ancong or an advanced word list into Ancong. And for this demo, I'll be using a simple word list, which is just a, a file. This could be a text file or an Excel file uh, or a CSV file or a TSV file. Uh, let me just show you which file I'm going to use. So uh, this is a simple Excel file, uh, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So it's, it's a simple file with just type in the first column and the frequency of the word in the second column. So I'm going to load this into uh, Ancong. Uh, you can see the different options that are available here as well. Uh, so open that, and then uh, I just need to click Create, and that's it. So you can see that with this uh, word list option, again, uh, we get some information about what the corpus is, is like. Now, this, of course, is just a word list corpus, so we can't look at things like keywords in context, but we can use it. Uh, um, as a reference corpus for creating keywords and so on, which I'll explain in another video. 
So let's return to the main, uh, let's go first back to the corpus database. And you can see here now we have this my word list demo corpus target um, selected and ready to be used. Uh, and if I return to the main data, uh, main window, you can see here word list only. So you can't select files from this. And you'll also see that the tools that have been um, disabled and only the word and keyword list options are now available. So we can go to the word list tool, which I'll explain in another video and show the list here. We can also use it um, in a keyword analysis, but, um, but for normal analysis like keywords in context and cluster analysis and collocate analysis and so on, we cannot use this. And on the topic of creating a keyword list, let me just show you how to choose one of the corpora in your corpus repository as a target corpus and another as a reference corpus for keyword analysis. So to do that, um, let me just go back to the corpus manager and here, I'll just put that here. And here, um, at the moment, this my word list demo corpus is chosen as a target corpus, but let's make that a reference corpus. So I'm just going to click on reference corpus on the right here and then double click this, uh, my word list, to become a reference corpus. Or we could click this and, and, and choose. And then to make to choose a target corpus, we just go up to the target corpus option uh, and then double click on, say, the demo corpus. And then we can see we have a target corpus of Alice in Wonderland and a reference corpus, which is this word list that we loaded. And you can see that they are indicated with blue and purple in the uh, corpus repository. And um, because these are interchangeable, we can easily just swap these by clicking the swap button. And if we do that now, the target corpus is the word list and the reference corpus is Alice in Wonderland. But for most analysis, we would actually be using the, the more common option of having the target corpus as something like the Alice in Wonderland and then the reference corpus as something a little bit bigger. So that's how we can use the corpus repository to load a corpus as a target corpus, load a corpus as a reference corpus, and then proceed with that analysis. So that's a, a brief introduction to the Corpus Manager tool. I hope you'll see how it can be a very powerful manager to um, organize your files in your corpus and so on, uh, especially creating a corpus from your own raw files and then saving it effectively in the, in the uh, pre-built uh, repository allows you then to quickly access the, the corpus later without having to keep loading in files and creating the corpus each time. So it's a very effective tool uh, for research and teaching and learning as well.